Turning now to another major trial underway after a day of deliberations, still no verdict in the civil trial against the organizers of the deadly Unite the Right rally. The 2017 rally erupted in violence, leading to the death of 32 year old Heather Heyer. Dozens of others were injured. 8 News investigator Carrie O'Brien is live outside the courthouse in Charlottesville with the latest developments. Carrie. Deanna, Eric, the jury has been excused for the week and they will pick back up at 9 a.m. Monday. Now the jurors have been advised not to talk about the case or to watch or read any news about it. The federal lawsuit alleges two dozen white nationalists conspired and planned to commit racially motivated violence during the deadly 2017 Unite the Right rally here in Charlottesville. The nine plaintiffs, current and former town residents, claim they were physically and emotionally injured during the rally chaos. Some hurt when James Fields drove into a crowd of counter protesters, killing Heather Heyer. Lawyers for the plaintiffs have argued the organizers of the rally had come for the Battle of Charlottesville, recruiting foot soldiers and armed with flagpoles, doubling as weapons. The defense has worked to separate organizers from Fields, painting him as a lone wolf. And the defendants have argued their communications prior to the rally, sometimes racially offensive, are protected by the First Amendment. And here's why a verdict could take a while. A jury will have to decide in each instance whether each defendant all 24 of them is liable for damages. And in addition, the jury was given 47 pages of instructions prior to deliberating. Now, the plaintiffs are seeking anywhere from three to $10 million in damages. We're live in Charlottesville tonight. Carrie O'Brien, 8 News.